do you know it? And what is my crime? I had a meeting with all the governors of the Southeast. And the day I was having this meeting, this same man who was accosted in Nuremberg was upstairs listening to our conversation. Some of you don't even know what transpired when I attended that very meeting with the governors in the company of Professor Ben Wabeze and Evangelist Elio Tuko. They are my witness. They are there. What did I ask for? Do you know what I asked for? Come on, Second Niger Bridge to build on Esha Enugu Road, build the Wacha Enugu Road to open Wari Seaport, open the Wacha Seaport, open Calabar Seaport, open Calabar Airport, open um, um, make Enugu more viable. That's all I asked for, and I'll leave the election boycott. That's all. I didn't even ask them to give me Biafra. Do you know these people could not take this to Asarok? Because they were terrified. To bring infrastructure, to bring development to their own people, they were frightened of the Fulani he goat in Asarok. Which is, of course, Abakiyari, because then uh, Buhari was dead and Jubri had come in. Now you understand it very clearly? Ask them, did I ask for Biafra to warrant sending the army to come and kill me? I asked for employment opportunities for those who are unemployed, for the theming graduates we have who cannot find work anywhere. That's what I asked for. They have the papers. Go and ask them. When you met Nam the colonel in a new, in Ifa Yuguani's um, conference um, 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 room, did he ask for Biafra? The answer is no. I asked for very common. I said, go and bring something for our people. But all they cared about was their family and their clothes. I said, the card and I on social media. IPOB was busy dying to make your lives better. That's all we have been doing. And today, as I speak, this very night, Enugu Airport will be closed down. Has Moda complained? No. Do you know why? They want us to fly through Lagos, fly through Abuja, and every flight comes in in the evening. So you lodge in a hotel. You improve the economy of the West and of the North. But we have no airport anymore. Some of you don't know this. It's all been lost in the hoo-ha about Nuremberg. And it's quite interesting that Nuremberg was where all the evil men were tried under Nazi, or during the Nazi regime after the Second World War. It's a very, you know, um, it's kind of very poignant, isn't it? That's, that's where this very mass resistance started from. I expect Europe has to do the same thing to their corrupt politicians. And the Middle Belt the same. Fulani is gone. They, are, they have Alamajiri culture. They are a feudal system. They run a feudal system that they are impervious to reason. They can never reason. From now till the kingdom come, Fulani youths can never attack their so called um, uh, Rankadede, whatever they call them. But I'm sure Yorubas can. They should also do the same thing. Because the USA you love so much, America and uh, Britain and uh, Germany, they love to go and eat yam. There are people revolted against corrupt politicians. Go and read your history books. They're all there. But all you're interested in is, um, is um, social media, what you can write. They, gave, they, they stood shorty for him, get him there. Did I commit any crime? They, don't know, they, don't, they won't understand. Now, listen again. Everything I read out, I ask you to Google. You're asking me why I'm angry. You're asking IPUB, why are you people angry? Why are you upset? And now, today, you know why we're upset. You will know why we're upset. Here's another one. Pro-Donald Trump rally in Nigeria leaves 20 dead, many missing. What was our crime? Alamajiris, the Fulani people, we are demonstrating against Trump in Lagos and in Abuja. We assembled in Igbocha in Port Harcourt to celebrate Trump. 
They did not kill those who were against Trump in Abuja and Lagos. They came to Ugocha and killed over 20 of us. And you're asking me why I'm angry. Now you understand it, don't you? The funniest thing is that the American ambassador did not even tell the state house what happened. You know what they said? There was a clash. There was a clash between pro Biafra groups and the Nigerian military in Port Harcourt. That was their official dispatch to State Department in Washington. It was a lie. Clash. My happiness is that my Yoruba brothers have now seen what we've been seeing all along. Look at Shore was locked up for no reason. People gathered to try and protest. They said, uh, at least at last, they didn't say clash with. But that was exactly what happened to IPOB. Because they were writing from a position of ignorance, of which we have, of course, forgiven them. They would say it's a clash, a clash between protesters and, and army. We must protest. It is a constitutional right to protest. Exactly what happened in Nuremberg was a protest, only if you can say it that way. Protest against mediocrity, protest against backward politics, protest against corruption of every form, protest against politics as usual. That is how you should say it. We did it to make your lives better. I pray to Elohim to give you the discerning mind to be able to understand that. You're asking me why I'm angry. You ask IPOB, why are you angry? Why do you do what you do? Here's another reason why. Vanguard covered it. I will, I will sabotage another war on Igbo land. Wodo said with his mouth, I have sabotaged Biafra before. I will sabotage it again. No wonder he's helping me yet yell at his friends by saying his Igbo people, oh, don't worry. The world shouldn't worry. Oh, all those mothers being raped in a boy. Oh, don't disturb yourself. They're being raped by their sons. Is evil men and youths raping their mothers? That's what would they say. The same man that said, I will sabotage Biafra. This is the man you want me to respect. This is the man you want me to love. This is the man you want me to follow his lead. This is the man who has no respect for the death of three over 3.5 million people that he claims to be leading. And some of you claim that you are educated. I feel sorry for education, honestly speaking. The same Ohaneze. On one hand, the disabled youth who are causing it, but when the real culprits are, do you know why they bring all these things to us? Because we are the ones checkmating Miyeti Allah. We are the ones IPOB. Senators, they are our senators, our leaders. Ask them. Why must we always use Lagos Seaport? You're a senator. Have you ever stood up in the house to say, I want Port Harcourt uh, Seaport? You watch her open. The answer is no. How many times have you stood up to say, is the same Atlantic Ocean flowing from, from through Lagos and Wari and Igwacha and also Calabar? Why can't the ship stop in Calabar then? They are closing a nuclear airport. You want us to clap for them. They are there. They kept mute. Like people who are deaf and dumb. Every kilometer in our land is a checkpoint. Why? Because they live in Abuja and in Lagos. Grown up men gossiping. Now we goosey. That's all they do. And trying to undermine IPOB and what we are doing. We are not in competition with anybody. No, we are not. And can never be. When we travel, towns shut down. I, I, never, I never give advance notice before I travel because if I do, there'll be no space for people. So we're not in any competition. All we are trying to do is to save our people. And we cannot be saved with a bunch of criminals and incompetent politicians at the helm of affairs. It is undoable. If other ethnic nationalities can do what we did in Nuremberg and Germany, believe you me, by this time next year, things will be different. You have 24 hours electricity. I'm telling you the truth. But they can't do it. As you know, they were denied history in school, so nobody can blame them. When you see people talking nonsense on social media, don't blame them. 